All right, what does it mean, sequence? In, in order. In order. It means it's in order. So let's do this. My beforehand is my left. My afterhand is my right. right. Initial means. Beginning. Final means. Uh, after. At the end. Is the end or after? There are two middle letters in our alphabet. And are. End. How many letters are in the alphabet? 26. There are two kinds of letters in the alphabet. Vowels and consonants. Okay. Here you go. Touch and name. Remember your beforehand is your... Yeah, can Left and forehand is the after. So Ready? You use, hold on. Can yeah. we use the oh, A, A, B, C, B, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Good. All right, so let's look at our missing letter deck. All right, well, I'm going to go Silas and Kenny. Silas, Kenny. Ready, Silas? Um, R, S, T, J, K, L. OPQ Lower ABC BEX XYZ WFY FGH KLM IJK BCD, CD, SCU, MNO, LNN, um, EFG, VWX, UVW, TUV, HIJ, URS, NLP, J-A-T-I. Okay, okay, okay. So sequence means? In order. And if I said V blank X, what's in the middle? Uh, w, W. Very good, very good. So here we go. Ready? Yes. G, G M, M, L, C, S, R, W, R, S, H, H, R, I, O, Z, Dab by C H C H J J Dab by F N G that consonant E consonant E E consonant E U consonant E O consonant E I consonant E A consonant E and try by C C H U W T V B E A P Dab by F E F H Diagraph O, Diagraph CK. I was just thinking, what if we got to K? We haven't done Diagraph CK yet, and then next thing we know, we do it. Kike, Elephant F, uh, Watch Off, Socks, No, Rabbit Room, Leaf Zippers, Socks. Umbrella of cock, mother, the thumbs, the hat, George, athlete, athlete, rope, o, meal, you, KK, bye bye, church, church, truck, truck, BE, match, shitty. Uh, no, 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 Okay, I don't remember that much. <coughs> huh? I don't remember that much. You don't remember that much? No. Okay, we're going to take their strips. All right. A base word is the simplest form of the English, is the simplest form of an English word, a base word. Okay? The suffix are letters added to the end to change it. Okay? So a base word plus a suffix is called a derivative. Very good. 
I'm going to write some derivatives on the board. So we have M I S T O O K. We have M I S L E D. And we have M I S T R U S T. Okay. What letters do you see a lot in these words? Yes. M I S. So if we box in the letters the same way we box in the suffix, I'm gonna box them in. Remember, we box in our suffix. If I box these in, do we have a suffix? I mean, do we have a base word? Yes. Yes, we do. The letters are not added to the base word. The they come before the base word. Okay. We call a letter or letters added to the beginning a prefix. Pre means before, before. like pre-K, you go before kindergarten, so it's before. So a prefix means it comes before, okay? It can change the meaning of the base word. Look at the last letter of the prefix. What's the last letter of the prefix? S. We have an S, okay? Is that a prefix, the last letter of vowel or a consonant? Consonant. So it's a consonant prefix. Let's echo these words, okay? Mistook. Misled. Mistrust. Mistrust. What do you hear at the beginning? Of, that's a lot. Miss. Miss. A prefix. Prefix is a letter or letters added to the beginning of a base word to change it. Let's see if we can figure out what pre what this prefix M-I-S means. If the base word is led, and we have a misled person, we have led them in the right or wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. If you misspell the word, did you do it in the right way or the wrong way? The wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. It, I, I if you mistook. You mistook your medicine. Did you do it the right way or the wrong way? You did the wrong way. Well, maybe you forgot and actually like took more. Yeah, I have two. Okay, now we know that derivatives are base words plus a suffix. You could come at the back end of suffix or the beginning of prefix. We call a suffix or prefix an affix, okay? Because they attach to the base word. So let's look here. How do we code a suffix? Box it in. So how do you think we code a prefix? Uh, box, box it in. in. All right. So go ahead and code your top part of your words, please. I forgot to put in the word in the word Video game in a long time. Like the movies. Read for me, Silas. Number one. Uh, mistrust, misfit. Hey, Kenny. Mistook, mistake. Misled, misspelled. Mismade, misfit. Mismade, mistake. Very, very good. So, miss means wrong. So, we said a base word is the simplest form of an English word. Affix is the letter or letters at the beginning of a base word. Or the end. So a base word plus an affix is a derivative. Okay, so a base word plus a suffix or a prefix. Is a so I'm gonna write some more words on the board. So we have U N L O C K. We have U N B E L T. 
we have U N S A F E. What letters do you see alike in these words? U and U N. U and N. If we box off U and N, how, how do you unbox something? Undo it. A prefix. Is there a base word left? Yes. Yes, ma'am. There's a pre. Yes. A prefix is a letter or letters added to the beginning of a base word to change its meaning. Look at the last letter of the prefix. N. Is it a vowel or a consonant? Consonant. So we have a consonant or vowel prefix? Uh, consonant prefix. Consonant prefix. So uh, repeat after me. Unlock. Unlock. Unbelt. 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 Unsafe. Unsafe. What, see, what did you hear in the beginning sound? Um, a consonant. A consonant. And what, what was the sound you heard? Un. Un. Very good. Let's see if we can figure out what it means. If the base word is lock, and we unlock the door, what have what have we done? We unlock the door to let people can get in. Okay, so lock and unlock. What do you call that? Just like up and down. Yeah. Left like, and right. Black and white. It's Those like when are you're undoing what? something. Black and white. What does black and white mean? Like what? Or what is sit stand? You're standing up and left, you're right. Right. What do we call those? We learned when we were little. Directions. You gotta think about all of them. Think about all of them. So if we said big, small, and big, opposite. tall and short, opposites. There we go. So if you have lock and unlock, we have opposites. <laughs> so un could mean the opposite. The opposite of lock is lock. Oh, unlock. Okay. But Very good. If your house is unsafe, it means your house is in danger. Probably. Well, yeah, it's not safe. Yeah, like the prefix like... has two. So this one means two things. Un can mean not. Like you undo something. Undone, yeah. Undone something. That means you, or it can mean not. If I undone the covers from the bed, I they're not done anymore. They're not made up. So now we know that derivatives are base words plus a suffix or prefix. We call them an affix because they're attached to the base words. Let's go ahead and code the bottom just like we did before. And it looks like this game that Uncle Jay used to play, um, uh, Tetris. All right, start us off, Kitty. Uh, I'm fit, I stick. I'm cap, I'm wet. I'm dress, I'm hook. I'm seen, I'm rest. I'm lock, I'm safe. All right, very good. So let's look at our instant words. Always, always, those, those, those paper, paper, together, God, group, group often. Run, important. The difference is one that we took this morning. All right, so I'm gonna put up your instant words. I want you to circle all your instant words, but we're going to only read some code and read the first few, okay? Okay. So two, v, v. Um. You. You. Brown. Yep. Was. Was. No, no, wait. Yeah. Was. was. Were. What? Hold on. What? Uh, were. Oh. Roar. Wait. I think you were wrong. Yeah. Was. Your. Oh. And. Uh, do. Yep. So how many are we coding? I want you to circle all of your instant words, but I only want you to code sentences one, two, three, four. Oh, we, oh, it's not coding. Mm -hmm. I'm coding first. 
I mean, no animals in the water. Mm -mm. That's okay. It's okay. That's okay. Space happens. Have you heard you say that? Hmm? Have you ever heard you say that? Mm hmm. I'm serious. I've never heard you say that. I'm coming in five for some reason. You coming in four. Okay, we'll yeah. start with finishing that. All right, so I want you to read, uh, we're going to do one, we're going to do, we're going to read one, two, three, four, five, six. So, Kenny, read odds. Silas, read even. Is it? Just ignore it. Is it unsafe to run 10 miles in the hot sun? To wash your drapes, you must unhook them from the rod. The bride and groom hope this is not Who is that? Mistake. Okay. Let me get it. was unswept, yeah, and the beds were not made. Is it not good to mis mis mistrust your mate? Oh wait, I I mistook you from your twin. Or your twin, that yeah. means. I got a lot. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and move on. So let's turn to wrap uh, thirty-five point one. Three five point one. All right. Repeat after me, Miss Led. Miss Led. Miss Fit. Miss Fit. Miss Step. Miss Step. Miss Cast. Miss Cast. Miss Hat. Miss Hat. All right. Uh, Kenny and then Silas. Miss Hat. Miss Led. Miss Cast. Miss Fit. Miss Step. Miss Step. Miss Swim. Miss Cast. Miss Hat. Miss Fit. Miss Cast. Miss Hat. Miss Lloyd, Miss Fit, Miss Smith, Miss Use, Miss Deed, Miss Date. Oh, I'm sorry, I oh, was going too fast, wasn't I? Yeah. All right, let me try that again. Miss Use, Miss Use, Miss Deed, Miss Deed, Miss Date, Miss Date, Miss File, Miss File, Miss Fire, Miss Fire. All right, now Sal, let's go. Miss Deed, Miss File, Miss Use, Miss Fire, Miss Date, Miss Date, Miss Fire, Miss File, Miss. D, Miss D, Miss File, Miss State, Miss D, Miss File, Miss Use. Okay, now go, keep on going, Skinny. Miss Lead, Miss Hat, Miss Cast, Miss Date, Miss File, Miss Fit, Miss Use, Miss D, Miss Cast, Miss Shat, a hat. Miss Hat. Miss Date, Miss Date, Miss Date, Miss D, Miss File, Miss Step, Miss Use. Miss File, Miss Fit, Miss Fire, Miss Fred, Miss Step. All right, very good. So we're going to look at our spelling words. 
So we're going to remember to look and listen. Echo. Echo. Name the letter as you write. Okay, we're not going to do all of it. We're just going to do some. And so. 25%? Uh, no, we did about half. 50. Okay, so 50? Mm-hmm. 50, 50. Okay, write the letter that says E. Eh. E. Eh, eh, e. 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 Okay. P. 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 And remember that there, I turned this paper in so make sure that <coughs> somebody can read your handwriting. Okay. I hear the letter. F. F. Okay, remember, echo, yes. name echo, and echo, 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 A, 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 Y, 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 it's pretty easy. Mmm. B. 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 Yeah, B. What about sh, sh, uh, slash slash trigraph T? Well, what was at the beginning? You're going too fast. Well, C H slash slash trigraph T E A H. Okay, and C. Not an erase. I know. Well, we'll need two more. Okay. Okay. And okay. The beginning letter of my name. I have to write my name. All right, so let's get on. Oh yeah. But she knows who it is. Well, just hold on, we're not finished with it. Just hold on to it. I'll keep them up. Here's these for our prefixes and Wait, suffixes. Do us no. Nope. Do you have a notebook for that? So. No. There is none. Alright, so remember that we're going to look and listen. Echo, then echo, echo in the mirror. Pull down yeah, your lip face. pictures, and your place, lip picture. Okay, so before we do that, though, let's see if we, I'm going to give you some sounds so we can review. Okay, if I said, mmm, mm. what is that? Um, M. That is an M. What's our picture? A nasal. Okay. Mm, fart nasal. Very good. What about mmm? Middle nasal. Middle nasal. Say mmm. Mmm. Back nasal. Okay, mm -hmm. what about W round air. Round air. <sighs> Painting air. Painting air. Okay. What about O? Oh. Fun color. Okay. O. Oh. Er, Side color. color. Side color. Very good. Puff. 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 Study. Uh, talk. Da, 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 puff. 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 Tongue chiller. Tongue chiller. Yeah. 
and um, is also the th is tongue jeweler. The k. Back of the Okay. Interesting. Very good. Back. I'm having my set. So good. Back kid. All right. What about z? Tongue jeweler. Okay. Ch. Um, Papa. Papa. Shh. Bad stream. Bad stream. Yeah. J. J. Papa. Mm hmm. Z. Uh, Fishing. Hot stream. Got confused like me. E. <laughs> huh? What? Smiling vowel. E. Smiling vowel. A. Smiling vowel. A. Smiling vowel. I. Smiling vowel. A. Smiling vowel. Uh. Smiling vowel. O. Um, brown vowel. Yeah, round vowel. Ooh. Ooh, round vowel. No? Mm -hmm. Wait, no. Oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, ooh. 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 Very good. Very good. So show me. Okay, so we're going to look and listen. Echo. Echo on your mirror and then point in the picture. So show me. S. Mm. Duh. S. Mm. Duh. Mm. Duh. Mm. Duh. I never been out of of what's it called? Smiling vowel falling out. Like I only have. Well, they're not in the right place. Yeah. They had fallen down. Okay. I'm. I'm. All right. So silence. What do we got? Uh, we got fast stream, middle basil. And then and tongue tap. Perfect. Put it back. I thought I put phone color for a second. But then I had to look at it for a second. It's not falling. Okay. Now we're going to do another one. Ready? Yeah. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Er. Er. Ooh. Er. Ooh. Er. Er. Ooh. Er. Ooh. Er. Not in a race. Yeah, we don't have to be. No, we'll let him do it. Okay, can you listen? Ooh. Er. Uh. Listen. I, yeah, I don't think we have a room that No, one. go I ahead. I have that one. A uh, round vowel. Mm hmm. Lip chill. Mm hmm. Sides. Perfect. I thought this was the lip chill. The lip chiller is. This. It's this one. Where did you get yours out of? You got yours right here. It's okay. Oh. You knew in your head, but didn't have it right. That's okay. All right, so put them back. I'm not like getting a hurry. Okay, here's our next one. All right. Go ahead and put that. You're missing one. You're gonna be confused if you don't put that one away. Thank you. <coughs> so, old, 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 old. You have your back kicker. Old, old. Mm -hmm. uh, front color and then your tongue tapper. Perfect. All right, put those back. That sounds really itchy today. Okay, I'll go ahead and take the mirrors back just so we're not tempted to play. All right, so now we're going to look, listen, echo, unblend mm -hmm. with our fingers, pull down our lip picture, and leave it. And then we'll decide are we adding, taking away, trade, switch, repeat. Okay? This one we use these? No, that's our spelling part. Oh. Unless we need it in this part, we have to listen for our prefixes and suffixes. Okay, so you can just lay those to the side until you need them. Thank you. Sack. 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 Okay, go ahead, Kenny. You want to tell us what you have? Uh, string. Mm-hmm. Smiling vowel. Yes. 
I'm back here. Or, okay, so here's our next order. You ready? Okay. Wait, well, that's wait. Silas, you're getting ahead of us, bud. Okay, the next word is snack. 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 I think we add. All right, okay, so what do we add? Where did we add? Middle. S look. Snack. 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 Here's your next word. Are you ready? The word is nook. 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 Okay. Case chart is it? Kenny. Kenny. Okay. What do we have? Um, nook. So what it mean? Middle name. Round ear. And then back. Absolutely wonderful. All right, here's your next there. part. Excuse me? Mm -hmm. The oh, oh. It's my vowel. Oh, it's real vowel. Plus, yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Excuse us. I mean, could I get it at least? There's two corrections be. here. Book. 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 What do we need to do, Silas? You replace the um, middle nasal with a, uh, the upper. Perfect. We are like Yeah. I know. Next one is bike. 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 Oh wait. All right, what do we have? Me. He just did that last one. Okay. Uh, no, it didn't. Bike. Uh, lip puffer. Smiling brow, back puffer, and smiling brow. Oh, because the E's silent. Kevin, did you hear that E? So we don't hear it, so we don't move it. Very good. And your last one, like. 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 All right, so how's it going? You place the lip puff on the cover. Very good. Very good. So now we're going to move on. To our spelling. Okay, when I hear a short vowel followed by a consonant, we know that it is a open or closed syllable. Uh, open. It keeps going. This vowel close. Close. If you hear a k and then an a o or u, should we use a k or a c? Um, a c, because k takes time. What do you think? <coughs> Something that Miss Kinda taught us. Okay. She said and this helps us remember what where the place what. K takes I and E and C takes the other three. Perfect. Very good. I like that. Alright, so if you have a base word and then the t sound at the end, what is that suffix? Like white. White? It is. Ed white. Oh, Base e word plus ed. What equals what? What did you say? If you have a base word, Apex. and then you have a a, and then you if you have your base word, Apex. and you hear the sound ed, what do you have? Apex. That is an affix, but what's it called? Derivative. The ed. What's it called? Ed. Ed. Very good. And what does that mean? Uh, it means you did something in the past. Perfect. Okay, we'll wrap it up here. Look and listen. Echo. Unblend with your fingers. Pull down your lip pictures. Touch and spell. Name your letters as you write and code and read. So go back to your back page, please. Okay, watch your things underneath your paper. So here we go. Hey, will you do it all on one side because, um, I have to copy that and scan it. It's like this? No. On one side, which you already wrote up. You've got plenty of room. You need to start right straight over here on this side. So you use it Okay, ready? Yes. The word is snacking. 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 Mm -hmm.
All right, touch and spell. You're supposed to make your pictures, remember? Oh, yeah. Y'all heard it. Pull down the lip pictures. Mm -hmm. Y'all get too fast. I'll just start running. There we go. All right, so now touch and spell. Jumped the gun and did that, didn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, what's the word? <laughs> um, snacking. All right, let's try this again. So, everybody replace it. And I just realized that when I was going through my stuff, I got out the wrong card. And I was trying to be Johnny on the spot. So, we're going to look and listen, echo, and we're going to pull down our lip pictures. We're going to have to tell me the base word and then tell me the prefix or the suffix of the word, okay? And then we're going to add our card with it. Make a decision, touch and spell, name and write. So the next word is camping. 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 Okay. Ah. Mm. Okay, go ahead and write it. Not write it. I know, slow down. We're not, in, you're going too fast. Again, you're not ready for that step. All right, Kenny, thank you for, uh, so what is your base word in the, uh, IG? Your base word. Yep. Okay, so what's the prefix or suffix? IG. Very good. So you pull down your right card. Now I want you to touch and spell. This is G. Touch and spell. Uh, C K A M I N G. Okay. So you said C K. Uh huh. Does C K ever start at the beginning of a word? No. Nope. <laughs> okay. So what's it gonna be? C. Uh -huh. C. Go back and try it again. C A M C A M N what can I say? Um C A C A Let's do what you unblend it. S K A M P C A M I N G K A M P K A M P You left out a sound. Very good. Okay, so now try spelling. C A M P I N G. Perfect. All right, so uh, name and write it. You left us a long time ago. We're following the steps. All right, your next word. Replace, please. Let me just make sure you have this in front of you the whole time. All right, so you're gonna look and listen, echo, unblend, and pull down lip pictures. Identify your base word and your prefix and suffix. Make a decision, touch and spell, name and write. So here's your next word. Dashed. 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 So if it's a suffix, we pull down our this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so what's the uh, base word? Uh, 
Um, dash. Dash. What's the suffix? Um, ed. Okay, so is that a vowel suffix or a consonant suffix? Mm, consonant vowel? suffix? Ed. Vowel suffix because it has a vowel. It starts with a vowel, so it begins with the vowel. <laughs> <laughs> so, name and spell. That's its prefix. Oh no. Yeah, right there. No. You were right. You name and spell on your picture cards. Oh, this one? No, right here. Oh. Alright, can you spell it for us? Because you're still. Go. No kidding. What was it again? Dashed. D A S H E D. Perfect. Now write it. Okay, here's your next one. I'm going to put your cup things up. All right, frosting. 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 Okay, so I should. All right, so we have the word frosting. What's the base word? Uh, frost. Okay, what's the suffix? Ing. Ing, is that a vowel or a consonant? Is it a consonant? Ing. Vowel? Mm -hmm. So it would be frost. So now we're going to name it and spell F R O um, um, T-I-G. Okay, good. Okay. Oh, now, uh, write it on your paper. Name it right. All right, and your last one, go ahead and put them up. All right, jumped. Jumps. J. Um. J. Um. Okay, so put in your pictures. Oh, yeah. Where did this one? Yeah, it's a cat, though. Jump, jump, uh, mm. Okay, so what's our base word? Uh, jump. What's our suffix? Uh, uh, ed. 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 Okay, is that a vowel or a consonant? Vowel, vowel. Uh -huh, very good. So now, uh, touch and spell. Jump, uh, touch. J, 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 U, U M, P, ED. Okay. And uh, name and write and code and read. All right, very good. So you can put all those up. Here's these back. Are we good? No, we are. With the cookie sheets. Okay, come here. your cookie sheets are just push them to the side, no matter. All right, so here's your dictation sentence. Are you ready? Yes. The frosted melted in the sun. The frosting melted into the sun. Into the sun? In the sun. 
cute. All right, let's see. So, Kenny, you gonna do this one? All right, go ahead. F-R-O-S-T-I-N-G. Do frosting. Um, M E L T E D I N T H E Sun. Mm -hmm. S E N. Perfect. All right, here's your last one. Ready? The frog jumped in the pond. The frog jumped in the pond. In. 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 All right, Silas. T H E F O F R O G J A N P E D. J A N P E D. All right, what's that word? Jumped. J A M P E D. A on the E. You mean you? Oh, yeah, you. Yeah. Yeah. Jumped. I am. In. T H U. The. P O N D. P O N D. Very good. All right, so a base word is the simplest form of the English language. Where does you put a suffix? End of the word. In. Okay, if I wanted to put a prefix, where would I put that? The beginning. And prefixes and suffixes are called affix. Good. <laughs> and the ones we talked about today, un, what does that mean? Uh, uh, like opposite. Do you do something or you do the opposite of something? Okay, it'd be the opposite, the opposite of un and the opposite of lock is unlock. What if I'm unhappy? That's not opposite. That'd be the opposite of happy. Yeah. Okay, or it could also mean not. Like unlock, it's not locked. All right, what was, and then M I S, miss. Mm -hmm. Do something, you do it not correctly. Not correctly, it's yeah. wrong. All right, very good. So go ahead and you can measure your names on your paper. Yeah, I can. Put it in here.